you, you, you unfriended me. Why would I? Why would I? Let me finish. Why would I stay in a place that the other person that I'm not friends with is unsafe? And no one's hearing me. In fact, they are attacking me. Why would I stay? Now you're blaming everyone for no reason. Now, now, now you're gonna start making it look like it's some BS. Yes, I picked the scab. Hell no! You're gonna get the fuck out of here. And I didn't see it before. I kept saying it over and over again. I kept making people listen to me. But I can protect my ass. And that's what I did. And while they come up here and gas like we had to start all over again, and that's what's taken so long. Howdy, howdy, howdy. 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 Howdy, I'm sure doing a whole brand on your own without some huge company supporting you is probably extremely challenging, but I feel it's most likely worth it. At least he won't be at the mercy of a huge company like Morphe and having to go down with them just like Jocelyn is right now. Another plus James has with this being his own brand is he's able to take his time and get his fans input on products. He's been over on TikTok trying to keep his fans as involved as possible and personally, I think that's a really great marketing tactic. I need your help in the makeup brand. Help me answer this question down below. Is when it comes to eyeshadow brushes, you can be real, you can be honest down below, this is a judgment free zone, but do you care about the material of the hairs of your eyeshadow brushes? The reason why I ask this is because there's a very big difference between natural hair brushes and synthetic brushes, and both have their own pros and cons. His fans are going to feel like they had a hand in his makeup line, and it's going to feel more personal to them. James has been working on a blush palette, and he's been going back and forth with his labs based off of fan feedback. A couple weeks ago, I showed you guys some blush samples that my lab sent me for my makeup brand, and today, I have an update. Literally, this whole ash thing, let me, let me explain why. I first discovered I had ADHD when I was... Everybody, all the kids, everybody, 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 all of us. Y'all be the same motherfuckers, they be like, ash is a friend, whatever you guys want to call me, always in the mess. I'm always in the I'm always this, I'm always that, right? Right? Y'all always say that about me. And then when I actually... Let Barney up. Who's Barney? No one jumped me. It's a, from a pimple because I have a pimple right here. Reading the comments on that first video. Your guys' feedback was so incredibly helpful and it was it's really not ready to bust yet. Because you said that he was silent or something like that? Because you said that he was She's mad because she got, he, he talked about her.
It's bitter. That's crazy. So a couple of weeks later, we have some new samples in the mail. I will show you guys what I received. And Michaela, says what? This who Michaela? Has actually been really Michaela. helpful for him. I've got all sorts of tips, tricks, tutorials, and all fun things. But I've also been looking a lot of sneak peeks at products for my brand that will be launching in the future. And one thing that I have been documenting every single step of the way has been these blushes that I am working on. I have a cream and color formula, and I did a video because I got my final samples in. When is someone never not, not talking about me? Super excited. Where is Isaac? I don't know. Probably. Thank you for the gift points. Probably somewhere in a Discord hating on me. What else is new? I'm here. Um, Daisy, look here. Just, just, just answer me really quick because that, that, there's, there's, like, I want everybody to hold what's right to me because you gotta hold what, what you should hold. And if it's not, if it's not you, you didn't, you shouldn't be holding something. You should be holding something. I'm okay. I'm good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So everybody's saying, why didn't Jinxie uh, deal with this? Why didn't Jinxie hold this face? Why didn't Jinxie? The reason Jinxie didn't do any of that is because Breezy advised Jinxie not to. Breezy advised Jinxie not to because he had friendships on both sides. I said it was not fair to Jinxie to have to navigate that space, that it would have to be a neutral space if anybody wanted to, to deal with it. And that is why Jinxie did not hold it. Because Breezy said, Jinxie, my friend, you have friends involved. There is no way that this can be held in that regard when you have two, two groups of friends. That is why. But now the whole black community has now been placed in danger in 4K. So I don't care who holds this face now. Everybody needs to know whatever you need to do to protect yourself. And as for Michaela, whoever this Michaela girl is, needs to leave me alone because... Yeah, Michaela's the one who sent that chocolates. I don't know who Michaela is. Howdy, howdy, howdy. Oh no, that's not cool. You know, this like TikTok be messy. Let me tell you something, guys. The same people that be and like that literally be. You 
know. They want to be holding me accountable, but not holding their friends accountable. This is, this is... That's not... Oh, TikTok is messy! Yes, of course, I always have to have a Mountain Dew. Anyways, let's play some music. What are we gonna play, Leroy? When the stakes are high at work, your tone matters. Grammarly's advanced tone suggestions can help. Because when you write with just the right confident tone, This is where 
2021 King James is about to come out because I don't like that. Don't, don't, don't do that. I said Mama Bird can come back in, but y'all forget this is a black space first. Black people first. Black people speak first. I will, of course, have Mama Bird come up and speak because she's involved, but y'all got me fucked up. Y'all trying to cancel me every five seconds. I got some bitch ass nigga from Jersey who I thought was my friend that wears a TV on his head for a living, bash me on the internet for money. Literally, this is nothing to you. Stop sitting here trying to cancel me over here, little baby. I'm not silencing nobody. That's on Jay Park. I don't. Jay Park's problematic. I mean, you know, this is a problem, like, with, like, you know. I have to turn it down because that's annoying. Yeah, uh, well, it's not annoying. It's just that I'm trying to talk, and I'm trying to talk over that and talk to you. That's like the whole situation with Kanye West, right? There are some people who can't separate the artist. Like, they, they just still listen to someone, even though they're problematic. Like, I, I'm not going to say, like, it's not that hard to not listen, but, like, Jay Park songs really slap. Howdy, howdy, howdy. Even though he def one of his artists, um, cultural appropriated, he defended that. He said some horrible stuff about um, Korea at the time when he was in two p uh, in two two p.m. He was in the group two p.m. He said some bad stuff about China, um, a uh, Korea, and they kicked him. And they stay, they kicked him out and told him to go to America or something. He was able to come back and perform. But he's been, like, really problematic. Like, really problematic. That's like with the Kanye West situation. Okay, so, Chris Brown, since we're on the topic of problematic people, um, Chris Brown has had enough about people bringing up his past about Rihanna. I did not know that uh, he's posting a lot of people that have hurt or harmed their significant others. I did not know, like, I didn't know Steven Seagal, like, did DV. Like, I didn't know about Steven Seagal. I didn't know about Slash. And if this is true about all these people, how come they still have a platform? You know, he makes a valid, he makes a valid point. This is the problem that I see on social media and celebrities and people in general. Thank you for the heart hands. We hold black people to a standard we don't hold white people to. Those white people got away with doing all of that and still have a career. But people still keep coming for Chris Brown. And they did the same thing that Chris Brown did, and he's literally trying to change himself. He's literally trying to change and grow and learn from his mistakes. It, it, it's like, like Mel Gibson. Uh, let me, let me, let me go there. Well, why are you blaming him?
and y'all want to sit here and discuss who said what and who said what and what was allowed and who was allowed. Y'all, I'm so sick of y'all shit. I'm sick of it. Y'all are so fucking simple-minded. We talking about a whole community. We don't know who's in their group. Who has other people's information? Y'all want to sit around and talk about bullshit. But who lied? What you said with this? You said left and then you meant right. You said up and you meant down. We have a whole group of people we don't know who's in a group. Talking about finding that for location. And this is what y'all want to talk about. Y'all so fucking weak in the mind. A whole ass community? All of us? Do you know who's in their group? Do you know if anybody is, is not a sound mind in their group? Do you know if your information in that group? Do you know if your, your, your friend information in that group? Do you know? Do you know if they got your IP address? Do you know if you have people who ever in that group went Sorry, I'm, okay, I'm replying to messages. You? And you want to talk about nonsense like this? Do y'all know? Crimes have been committed. You talk about who lied and who said what and who said what. Oh, this person blocked and not blocked and not blocked. The crimes have been committed. Shut the fuck up, man. Shut the fuck up. Shut the absolute fuck up. For you to sit in the position right now, after you done bless your white Miller ass, put people on a recon fucking list, and then try to argue with people that's what recon don't mean. You're talking to a survivor of war. I know, I still the hell up. I know what recon is, okay? I've been on the opposite side and you know military weapons, you know military people coming to people fighting with your little guns. You say, I'm on a recon mission, or a recon mission is going to gather intel. Your intel has a little kid, my black African. Sorry. We call me violence. We call me violence. Intelligence at the expense of lies. Okay? That's what it means. So if everybody you want to sit here and talk about bullshit, when you have people literally have something, we call team. Find their location. Here's their IP. Do you understand how dangerous this is? What are y'all waiting for? You gonna still be talking about blocking who blocked and who did this when somebody is unalive? When somebody is fucking. I just thought she was getting crazy. Anyways, back to the to Chris Breezy. Okay, so. It's not about being a DV defender. You have to understand something, right? This is not about DV defending or defending people who have done DV. This is saying, like, why do these white people have a platform or are able to exist and have a career when they have done DV to their partners? It's, it's a black and white situation that people are not looking at. You are trying to hold Chris Brown accountable for something he's already held himself accountable for. He said that he can't grow from his situation because people keep holding him back. You, I don't see people in Slash's, um, in, in, in Slash's pages saying, oh, and talking about Slash and his DV situation. I didn't even know that Slash from Guns N' Roses literally did domestic DV, sorry. I didn't even know that. I didn't even know about Steven Seagal. I mean, I knew about Mel Gibson, but the people that he's been listing, I didn't know because nobody is constantly holding these people accountable because they're white. It's a black and white situation. It's not defending Chris Brown. He's literally right. He's right. These people have a platform that no one is holding them accountable for. When you want to sit here and say, oh, you're a DV defender, what you are, like, people are literally coming at, is it Chloe Bailey, Haley Bailey, for literally having a song with Chris Brown. You're attacking a black woman at the end of, end of the day. That's wrong. But yet you won't go after these white people, right? I didn't even know Emma Roberts did. I didn't even know about Emma Roberts either. I knew about Tommy Lee. Okay, so let's go. I didn't know about Sean Penn. Sean Penn literally was arrested for DA, you know, assault. On then wife Madonna. I didn't know about Sean Penn. I knew about Mel Gibson. Uh, Nicolas Cage, obviously, we know Nicolas Cage. Uh, Ozzy Osbourne, DV, didn't know about Oz Tommy Lee, obviously, we know. 
Slash, I didn't know about Slash. Charlie Sheen, obviously, we knew. Steven Seagal took me back, because I was like, took me aback, because I was like, I did not know about Steven Seagal. Emma Roberts, wasn't that, um, yeah, Evan Peters. I saw, like, what's his name, made a video on that, Sloan. Um, Carmen Electra, I didn't know Carmen Electra was arrested for D, a, a domestic, that's crazy. Christian Slater. I did not know about Christian Slater. Okay, I love Christian Slater. You know, Heather's. There was that one movie where he had the heart condition. That's like one of my favorite movies. I didn't know this. Josh Brolin? There is no way. Tom Seasmore? James Cam? Vince Neal, Motley Crue, Mickey York. Wait, is that, is that, what's his name? Dana White? Dana White, the owner of UFC. Is this, is this who, who we're talking about? Dana White. Is that Dana White? He's saying like Dana White? Doing exemplary dive into. Not the Carol Coley, the Pop Black. Ooh, Chris Brown literally is messy. So one of the um, one of the Destiny's Child, you know, uh, what's her name? Uh, Kaylee Williams was on an episode of Sweet Life and Zach and Cody with Chris Brown, and she was literally calling Chris Brown out for. DV, and like obviously, rightfully so, you know, right? What happened with Rihanna? It's not, no one's saying it's excusable, but people can learn and grow from that because it was something that happened when he was really, really young. And people have to understand that when you're young, some t your brain is not fully developed. That doesn't excuse the things you do, but when you get older, you learn and you're like, that was not okay what I did. I mean, hopefully he learned from it, right? But to be in a whole episode with him and like literally like call him out. But then she's sitting here saying that Blueface and Chris Yon's situation have nothing to do with her. That she should mind her business. This is where fake activism exists. This is why I tell y'all this when you're on my page. When you allow people to say slurs on Station Head and you don't hold them or do the same things to me, like, I'm not saying you should, to them, then it's fake activism. Because you can't sit here and call out someone for, like, DV and not, and not hold other people accountable and say, well, it's none of my business. No, nah, that's none of my business. It is your business. If you go online acting like you're calling out horrible people, you have to at least call out everyone. You can't sit here and pick and choose who you want to cancel one day or the next. You can't just do that. Like, it's not about coming at or defending someone. You have to understand that a lot of white people have done the same things Chris Brown has, but they still have a platform.
memory, if I, if my memory serves me correctly, I think she, uh, I don't remember, but the background was literally a bathtub. I think she was sitting in her bathtub, sitting in her bathroom, I don't remember. But when she joined my live stream, there was no Confederate flag in We were live battling, and I wasn't paying attention. And when I looked up, because I was playing my game, and I looked up, people started having an issue with the fact that she had a Confederate flag in her background. Like I said, I cannot tell people, especially people I don't know what to do, when it comes to them. I said, I had so much unnecessary drama that I was dealing with that I don't need to add that onto my plate and try to deal with that, right? But the people in my comment section who are literally being racist, I can because it's my space. You have to understand, if black people join and they see that, then they're gonna think this is not a safe space. I have to create a safe space for everyone to join. That's different. I'll go get one. Yeah. Like, I have to hold a safe space. It's my platform, right? What does it look like if I'm sitting here and people are being racist and I'm not doing anything about it? Then what are black people going to say? Oh, she's creating an unsafe space. She's not doing anything about it. She's allowing these people to be racist and not saying anything. The mods aren't doing anything. It just looks bad. You guys have to understand. It looks very bad. When I went live with that girl, there was no Confederate flag in the beginning. While I was battling, I looked up because I wasn't paying attention. And there it was. Like I told y'all. If you really want to hold someone accountable, hold that person accountable. You're expecting me to do something that I can't do because I don't know that person, nor is it going to change. Am I going to say, hey, you know that has a, a, hi a history, the background behind it is racist. What is she going to do, not care? She gonna, she's going to continue to have that on her wall for as long as she lives. Me telling her something isn't going to make her change. She don't know me. I don't know her. Who's body saving? It's annoying because I have to create a safe space every time someone joins my live stream. I have to sit here and make this space safe for everyone to feel welcome to join. When someone's literally calling me a gorilla, right? Saying very racist stuff towards me. They keep going on my pages and trying to push this narrative that my dad is my stepdad and that I'm not black. This is what literally pisses me the hell off. Is that you're more concerned at the fact of whether or not I am truly black, which I am, than at the fact of my actions. You are using my page to be bigots under K-pop fake accounts. You sit here being negative and rude and get blocked and is like, 
Why am I blocked? I was a fan. If you was a freaking fan, you wouldn't be going around spewing hatred towards me, trying to tell people that I ain't really black. Okay, I am sick and tired of people trying to invalidate me as a black person because if you're a light-skinned person, you're automatically white. You're not black. We're not going to acknowledge you're black. And, and it's other... It's other light-skinned people... It's other light-skinned people that get told that because if they're not fully black, they ain't black at all. They're white automatically. And you allow that hatred to exist. They literally sit in this discord, which annoys me, and constantly trying to decipher whether or not I'm black. What, I'm supposed to provide a DNA test? What happens if I provide an ancestry test and it says I'm 50% black? Then what are you going to do, shut up? Are you going to shut all the way the F up? Because at this point, if I provide a DNA test or some, which I shouldn't have to, or provide the ancestry test and it says I'm black, then it's going to make you look stupid. You need to stop invalidating black people. Stop invalidating people on my page and trying to tell me... What, who I am and who I'm not. I was born by my dad. My dad literally took care of me. My dad raised me. I was born. Literally, I have my dad's DNA. Freaking DNA inside of me. I am black. Look at my freaking hair. It is not a wig. You can literally tell by my nose. And you want to sit here on TikTok and spread some false rumor that I'm not black makes you anti-black. You are anti-black. Whether you are black, you hate your own people. You cannot sit here and use your blackness as some sort of excuse to say, "Well, I'm black, so I could call another, so I could tell another person they ain't black, and it'll be totally fine because I'm black as well." No, you hate your own people with a passion, and that's that self-hatred that you need to get over. Because when you look at yourself in the mirror, you hate your skin color and you hate yourself. Because there is no way you will go do that to another black person and not hate yourself when you look in the mirror. And that is something that you need to get over. That is wrong. You're, you're placing your insecurities onto someone else. And every day I have to come on this app and fight people. And this is happening on my backup page too. Fight people and say, oh, I'm black. Well, if she's not black, then people need to really find out. People don't need to really find out shit because it's none of their dang business. You don't come on an app and try to tell someone they're not really black. It pisses me off. Because no one has a right to force someone to do something. Why does someone need to provide any proof or documentation when you could literally look at them and tell that they're black? Dude. And no one literally tells them anything. Anti-black in my comment section. A mother with a mixed child was so upset to the point where she said, I would never allow anyone to talk to my child like that. Imagine if her child was sitting there looking at this stuff how do you think that makes them feel that they are also mixed my say my place my live stream needs to be a safe space for everyone and clearly it is not and people trying to tell me that oh you're so hip it, it's it's more so having people be allowed to to join my space without bigots and hatred because people don't know how to keep their hatred to themselves Literally being fat phobic. Like it's literally annoying at this point. It's it's literally annoying at this point. Being fat phobic in my comment section. How do you, excuse me, how do you think that makes other people who are overweight feel? Making fun of people. Attacking people, bringing up people's names for no reason. I literally sat in Leslie's live stream and watched someone say that I was talking about her that I wasn't. You're still mentioning me to Aunt Karen, which was not even in a bad way, but saying, oh, you should check on her. She had a recent live stream. I think you should see 
what the, if she's okay. And I will be having a contact with on Karen about that live, whatever live stream it was. And I will be letting her know about Leslie. So all, the only thing you did was just cause Leslie to get exposed. And I'm also going to tell her that that discord, that the people that was in her box literally was, was, was threatening my life. And that I got tired of it. I'm tired. You used a large creator's platform with millions of followers to continue to bully me. And you got not one, but two discords have already been taken down. It's frustrating when you're constantly, 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 constantly making discords and, and not stopping. And then you get mad when people attack you. No, those people shouldn't stop doing what they do to you because you're doing it to me. And you're facing your consequences for your actions. And, 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 and no, no one is going to stop. I'm not going to stop. I'm not going to leave anyone alone because you should have left me alone. It's only going to get worse for you. You should have left me alone. Nova didn't leave me alone and Nova got doxxed. Nova didn't leave me alone and Nova lost his discord. And by other people, not by me. That's your karma for sitting, sitting and telling people to dox me, Nova. For sitting there and telling people to send people to my house because you don't like me, Nova. That's your karma. Space Kitten lost her hate account towards me. That's karma. You're sitting here acting like as if you've done nothing wrong. You sat on that live stream making a, a stupid ass excuse that you were young and dumb when you faked the coma. Well, if that's the case, then when, when all of this stuff went down, I was young, right? Even though I was in my 20s, can I at least say that I was young and dumb? I don't get the same grace that other people get, and it's frustrating. People get to sit here on this app constantly making excuses and no one does anything to them and it's frustrating oh i was young and dumb my boyfriend was hacked that's why what does your boyfriend being hacked have to do with you faking a coma someone is always hacked slime always every time you do something you sit there and you say oh they was hacked my moderator was hacked Blah, blah, blah was hacked. Hacked, 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 hacked. All the time your excuse is hacked. Didn't you slut shame a 15 year old girl? Or are we gonna bypass that? What are you gonna say about that? I was young and dumb. Come on now. People have to stop. These people that are still messing with me, still doing, still like putting my life in danger and a discord, sit there acting like they've done nothing absolutely wrong and it bothers me. You literally have Leslie going live sitting there while people are praising her like if she did not send nudes to a minor. And then trying to go on her live stream saying, oh, Topi is talking about you. I didn't say anything. I was not live. It is so annoying that you guys allow these people in your spaces and act like y'all did nothing wrong. I had dog treats and candy delivered to my door by someone I don't know. I have random people showing up to my house. Nova posted a news article from where he lives, and that's how people found out where he lived. And whose fault is that? It is annoying because these people have held spaces for horrible people. They literally, okay, they literally want to talk about Crystal, okay? This is the last time I'm addressing this person because Crystal, Chris Doll, threatened me, 
saying that I was lying on their name when literally their name was mentioned in a video where the guy was talking to Daniel Larson. So if you want to sit here and continue to play this lie and say that I'm lying on your name when you got exposed in the video and the guy found out that you were behind that Grace Vanderwall account pretending to be Daniel Larson's celebrity crush, I would suggest that you stop because that guy literally exposed you and said they found out it was you. So don't sit here and continue to lie to my face. This is why I told you to block me and I'm going to block you and, and make threats towards me and say that you are not a part of Daniel Larson's problems. You're lying on my name. Play. You know, if you F around, you're going to find out. These people literally were friends with Crystal until Crystal started attacking Leslie and then they wanted to throw her under the bus and say they didn't know anything about her. Isaac literally sat here and was like, we didn't know she was doing that. We didn't know anything. We were just friends with her for a week. That's a bold-faced lie. You don't tell someone you've been friends with for a week all your personal information. You don't give personal conversations to someone you knew for a week. That's a lie. Sitting here telling someone all your personal information to someone that you just you're easily trusting you're just gonna easily trust someone for a week that's crazy well if you do then that's crazy because I wouldn't tell someone I only knew for a week they can use that against you how do you know if that person's not genuine how do you know if that person's not just listening to your problems to go tell everyone else your problems you can't be too trusting of people if you do that that, that, that's you, but you have to be careful because you don't even know if that person's being genuine or not. You don't know someone in a week. So being their friend in a week does not consummate to sitting here telling them all your life problems and expecting them not to be shady or not to go tell other people. That's your fault because you open up to people in a week. Don't do that. If you open up to people too quickly, you are giving them the room, the leeway, and the door to give all your information to everyone. You have to be careful. To say that you only knew this person for a week is crazy. They didn't know that person for only a week. They knew that person for a long time because obviously the mods back then, they, they specifically curated the mods perfectly for a reason. You don't pick Rondo mods. You literally pick mods that you had known for a while. The first Discord before it got taken down was not random mods. It was people that you actually trust. So knowing someone for a week, why would you trust them as being mod? Clearly, you made a bad judgment. A very bad judgment. And Crystal was not my friend. To literally sit here and try to say, oh, we got screenshots. She sent screenshots to her of the server. The only, the only screenshots and stuff she sent me was of Leslie not of the server so for you to go around and spread this false narrative y'all were friends with her you had her in that discord while she was out here causing daniel larson his problems and literally has a 4chan crystal has a 4chan where her and a bunch of people were planning to go after disabled people for no reason on tiktok and you mean to tell me that y'all didn't know that? And you're sitting here being friends with this person while she's attacking random disabled people that she doesn't know? All of this stuff is on Reddit. It's on Reddit. Does Reddit lie? All of the proof is there. Like, at this point, I'm tired. I'm sick and tired of someone else being a horrible, problematic person from your Discord, and I'm being threatened. And Crystal's threatening me. Uh, threatening me in Instagram when I said, ooh, when I said that, that the person that was DMing me, when was it, two nights ago? That was Crystal. And threatening me. Sending me a threat. Saying, you're lying on my name. You're siding with those people. I'm not siding with anyone, first of all. Those people don't like me. And I don't like them. They put my life in danger. Why would I side with people who put my life in danger? It's all over, it's all over Reddit. The screenshots and everything do not lie. You are out here telling Daniel Larson that he is making money off of off of um, Discord and he doesn't need to get help. 
He's doing dying and dashes. He's going to end up getting arrested. Something is going to happen to him and he's not going to be here. He's going to go at a young age. That guy was giving him a reality. And you're sitting here feeding him lies. That guy literally mentioned your name, said OF model. You literally sat, sat here on my live stream saying that you do OF and you're an OF model. Come on now. You cannot lie. These people are calling you out by name. Your name is literally in a Reddit. All I have to do is go to the Reddit and read about you. It's not good for you. For, for you to threaten me two days ago and tell me I'm lying on your name, I have not once lied on your name. I've seen it. I'm seeing it. You guys literally harbored someone who caused Daniel Larson his problems and you want everyone else to feel sorry for you. These people, howdy, 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 have lost their personal discords due to the reports of that discord that were not by my doing because people got sick and tired of y'all bullying them for no freaking reason. It's either do as you say or... Or, or you get false accusations. Isaac literally sat here calling these people on station head the F word saying that, um, what did he say? I could literally read it to you. Saying that, sitting here, saying that you're going to lie on people's names and make up rumors about them because they, they did something on station head is crazy. You're literally admitting to people that you're making up stuff on them because you don't like them. Sounds like a similar situation, right? You are the company that you keep. You are the company that you keep. Um, I know the F slurs. This is what Isaac said. Yolanda, right? The one in the Discord, Yolanda. Um... I know you F slurs in Mama Station Head are in here lurking and hating. Get your facts straight before before you come up with the before you come up with disgusting rumors. People are just mad we do it best here. But I think he meant before I come up with disgusting rumors, not you. It's probably a typo. Before you, or maybe they did come up with disgusting rumors, whatever. People are just mad we do it best here. No one's mad on station head. You see, you don't hold yourself to the same standard that you tried to hold everyone else in that discord. You're using slurs while telling people they're not allowed to do that in your discord, right? But here you are. If you're going to tell people not to do something, then you can't do it. Because then they're going to say, well, you did it. How come I can't? If it's not allowed, period, then why do you allow it in your space? You're over here fighting station head for what? Those people say slurs all the time. So those people are just as horrible as you are. You are literally sitting here ordering, having DoorDash bang on my door. And literally... Calling DoorDash and saying, hey, I did not receive my order. It did not come. I didn't get it. And cause a DoorDasher to lose their job because you want to pull some type of prank. The DoorDasher, the delivery driver, can lose his job because he delivered to the wrong address and didn't make sure he delivered to the right address. So you're trying to get some random driver... You're trying to get his job lost because you want to pull some type of prank. And say, oh, I didn't get my items delivered to the... Even though you you purposefully ordered a, Mac, a, Mac, a sausage McMuffin without the McMuffin, had it delivered to my door, I received the items, and you want to call DoorDash and say you didn't receive your items? That's why I told them to look into your fraudulent ASS. That's why you are going to be looked at as fraudulent. And when you get looked at as fraudulent, your bank account is going to shut your account down. And you think, oh, I've done this before. I've just, I've just literally called and asked for a freaking refund. Asking for a refund is different than trying to get a random DoorDash driver his job lost because you want to pull a prank on someone. 
that that guy could be tra probably trying to make money on the side a living for his family and here you are sitting here trying to get his job taken away from him because you want to say that the order wasn't delivered and mind you this DoorDash driver went out of his way to deliver that and you didn't even leave him a tip that's the worst part of it all you guys keep pulling this crap and then getting a refund back and not giving these drivers a tip they don't get paid from DoorDash to come out here to drive they don't get paid the money they make is from tips that's that's embarrassing how are you gonna pay for something and then try to get your money back? Like, you wrong for that. Hella wrong. You are wrong. It doesn't matter if they leave a tip. What's a $2 tip to losing a job? What would you want, your job or a $2 tip? That's like tipping them. That's like saying, here, I'm giving you a tip because I caused you to lose your job. That's like paying someone for literally causing them problems. It, 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 even if they tipped, they're literally calling and saying they didn't receive items. They're trying to, to literally not pay for items that they prank someone with. That is hella wrong. What does that guy have to do with me? Why are you causing people to lose their job for no reason? That's the real issue. These people go out of their way to weaponize all of my dad's criminal records knowing he's a black man. But that's okay. You have been hella ableist all up and down that discord. I literally have, like, it's so frustrating. If I literally call DoorDash, right, and I say, hey, I didn't get my items, and I'm sitting here eating all the items that I got, that's hella wrong. You don't realize that that driver could literally get fired for that. You don't care because your job is not on the line. And you're lucky I don't know what your job is because I would literally show them that you're in this Discord under that under those accounts, right? And find out where your jobs are and get you fired because harassing and stalking someone, I don't think your job would condone that. My nose is super itchy. Like these people are, they go above and beyond. They're crazy. I could literally care less about someone with 1.2 K's of pins on me telling me that I'm a freaking scammer and everyone's agreeing with them. No, bitch, you ugly. Your heart is ugly. Your face is ugly. You're a horrible human being that you sit on the internet with only two posts, right? One of which where you go to the gym. Yeah, because why? Take your fake ASS and go somewhere. Out of my DMs, I could give two shits or care less what you think. I reposted you to make yourself look stupid. You came in my comment section saying that I'm scamming. You see this shirt? I bought this shirt last year for Halloween. You don't see me wearing $500 headphones like um, uh, OMG Terrence. You don't see me out here with stuff that I bought from, from wherever if I was literally scamming people. And these people literally want to agree. No, you want to agree because you want to agree with the problematic people. That's the problem. There's a huge issue with people just coming on the platform and saying whatever they want and not knowing shit. It, it is so frustrating. That I had to prove myself every day. When you see me in a new apartment because I cannot live here anymore. Obviously, you keep saying that you win, right? You sat in the Discord saying we won, we won, we won, we, we won because you got me evicted. And you literally are telling people on live streams. You are literally going 
and making videos saying that you got me evicted, but saying that I'm scamming and I'm lying, but you're literally telling the whole internet I got evicted. You know you got me evicted, so how am I lying if you're telling people? It doesn't make sense why you're sitting here making videos saying you got me evicted, but yet I'm lying. So what is it? You know. That doesn't make sense. You're contradicting yourselves. When you see a new background and you see a new apartment, obviously that's going to tell you something. Like, you sound stupid as hell being the same people sitting here saying that you got me evicted and celebrating that. And y'all be the same people saying that I'm lying, but you're sitting here making videos. You know what you did. I know. I sat on a live stream showing my freaking eviction notice. The only thing Leslie has showed you is lies after lies after lies. You sat here said that she was going to apologize. She literally said black people smell. Where's her apology for that? When you showed her that video, she sat there and boldface laughed at that. There is nothing funny about saying black people smell. What is so funny about that? I don't find that funny. I don't find that funny that she sits here. Oh my God, this is super cheap. And, 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 and talks badly about black people, right? Because someone said, hey, you can't use the N-word. You're white. Oh, this is my brother. I'm half black. You look white. You are white. You are not black. You can't come on the internet and just call yourself something you are not. It's getting frustrating. Literally sitting here saying, when someone tells you, you can't utilize and use the N-word. I am half black. No, you are not. She's not even black at all. To say to sit here that you, you shouldn't be one to talk, literally she is not black. She doesn't have a black dad. She doesn't have a black mom. She has no one associated to her that is black. She thinks she has proximity to black people because one of her relatives is black, not her parents. You have to understand how it works. One of your parents has to be black. Not a, not a great grandma, not a grandpa, not a grandma. Okay, one of your parents has to be fully black for you to be fully black. You can't just claim you're black because your nephew is black. That's not how it works. It is hella frustrating. Like, it is so annoying, right, that you, that this girl literally sits here on live streams, again, telling people, oh my god, my stomach hurts, so I must be pregnant. There are women who can't get, who can't have a baby, and you're sitting here telling people that you think that you could possibly be having a baby, and lying about it on a live stream, and then you go to the hospital and say, False alarm, that's not what's happening. Come on now. Yes, Leslie sat on a live stream not too long ago telling people that she was, she feels she was going to have a baby because she ate some, and she, you know, and she alluded that to morning sickness. Like, whenever I mention people like Leslie and people like that, they always want to say, mention your father. Mention this, mention that. You know what? You're, you, you are the company you keep, right? So, I, I'm not going to say anything more about Leslie. You hang around Leslie, that makes you a pedophile. 
Because you did not once call her out on that live stream, Isaac. Like I said, you're a pedophile defender. You are the company you keep. When you don't sit there and hold her accountable, you are just like her. You dismiss the fact that there is proof that she sent nudes to a minor. You dismiss the fact that she sat there and laughed when literally she said black people smell. And you said, oh, she's going to apologize. You spoke for her and said she was going to apologize. She didn't say it, you did. Why are you speaking for people? You don't care about black people on Black History Month that you didn't do enough to like literally call her out for, for what she did towards black people? You wanna sit there and laugh and, and have a good time and literally bash someone who is black on a live stream during Black History Month and body shame me and talk ish about me while I am black on Black History Month and not call out someone who literally was played a video on the live stream while you sat there and she laughed and didn't even say, why are you laughing? You are the company that you keep. That's crazy. Because the problem is, if they are not problematic, if they are not the wrong ones, why do their discords keep getting taken down? They lost their discords, their actual personal discords that had a lot of stuff to it that they're mad they're not getting back. That was not my doing. You can't report accounts on Discord. If you can, I don't know how. Okay. I've already tried when, when all those racist discords came about when, a, a while back when they made a whole discord pretending to be nice to me and then started calling me slurs and started attacking me and started being racist towards me. It is like, it is like frustrating and annoying to have to do with these people you made fun of a lot of stuff that was not cool and i can't even say because you because those people will be harassed for speaking out but that's disgusting of you you sit here and never hold yourselves accountable i could never have a discord constantly harassing someone while being a pedophile defender and then say, what about your dad? What about Leslie? Huh, Isaac? You buddy buddies with her? Every time I join Leslie's live stream, she's always screaming for your help. Isaac, help. 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 And there you are running to her defense. Why do you defend someone that is that bad? You literally defended Nova, but then when I called you all out, then you wanted to decide to get Nova's Discord taken down. Isaac, Like seriously, they literally sit here doing doing all of this negative stuff and no one holds them accountable. And I'm supposed to sit here and not say anything. It's hypocritical.